fix dry 3D printer filament dryer. Got one right here. We're going to open this up and check it out. Then we'll compare it to the uh, Sun Lu that I have been using in the past. And up front, fix dry provided this to me to demonstrate and use, and we'll see how it works. So why do you need a printer? Or yeah. So why do you need a printing filament dryer? Well, if you leave it out like I have with this little partial spool here and it absorbs humidity, you may find that your filament breaks like this and becomes extremely brittle. And if you're trying to make prints, you'll end up with little bubbles and artifacts in your print. So you want to make sure your uh, filament is dry. I've got a couple spools here that are just partials that I have had sitting out that we're going to try out in this dryer and then we'll load them up in a printer and I'll print some stuff and they should work fine. I know I don't want to try to use this right now because it does absorb so much humidity that if I just bend it again, I'll break it. So let's get into this box and see what we got here. Well, we have the cover wrapped in plastic. Some styrofoam and we have the unit itself. Some directions. And that's it. So let me get some things arranged here and we'll check this out. Okay, we'll start out with a couple of the basic things here. This is obviously the cover that will sit on here after we put our filament in there. Like so. It comes with uh, Teflon tubing. Some people call it Bowden tubing or whichever. This can be put in any of these grommets. If you were to be printing directly from the dryer, you could run your filament out through that and into the your printer. Because the way my printers are set up here, that's not practical, but there's a lot of options here. You can also do it from the top. You can do it from either end. There's uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, there's ten different places you can put it. So that's what that tubing is for. And this is a nice snug fit on here. It's that nice snug fit. So you look in the bottom here, so this is where the heat's going to be coming out. You have this piece here, this is called a shroud. So if you're using this to just dry the filament and not use it as you're printing, you would place this in the little recesses in there. That prevents the hot air from blowing directly on the filament. Okay, on each side here are a set of rollers so you can place two spools in there. We will do here. And then just replace the cover. I'll get you zoomed in so you can see the control panel, which is right down here on this end. It's got a little protective plastic thing to take off. Inside the book is a chart here giving you the suggested temperatures and dry times for different types of filament. What I have in here right now is PLA Professional. So I'll be using 50 degrees C for four hours. So I can do this with from being backwards, power switch here, turn it on. Set button there, we want it, that's at 50 C. And you can change that with the uh, up and down arrow here, as you can see. Take that back to 50. Your next set will be your time. And again, you can take that up and down by using these up and down arrows. So we are good right there. So we'll take this at 50 degrees C for four hours. Our humidity up here right now is 50%. So as you can see, it's a She's a bit humid. So we'll let this guy warm up. So while this is over here doing its thing, there's a lot of camera view right here. Compared to the Sun Lu, this is what I've been using for quite a while. And this was not provided to me. I bought this. Uh, my biggest complaint with this was there were zero instructions with it. You had to kind of figure it out on your own. If you go on their website, you can find the stuff, but it's a little cryptic. This does have an outlet here for a tube if you wanted to do like you can on the other one here. This will only dry one roll at a time and it, this one's been running for a while so it's at 50. We've got a partial filament roll in there I want to use up. 
But our other guy here, him back over in the picture. So as you can see, it's heating up. It's bringing the humidity down, and the time is counting down. Well, I hear people once in a while, you know, what's the big deal about drying the filament? It's fine. You know, I've printed and everything comes out just fine. Well, things can happen. Uh, aside from filament breaking like this because it's got too much humidity in it, when you're printing something, you you get little bubbles and what I call artifacts. And this is one here that was printed where the filament was wet, and I I pulled it when I saw it was starting to bubble up. So that's something that could happen. You get these little bubbles on the side of your print or on the top of your print. And you're, you know, I call them artifacts. Not ancient artifacts because you just made them. But that's where they come from most of the time is these little blisters and bubbles are from the filament having too much moisture in it. As that goes through the hot end, the filament in there flashes to steam. That steam has to go somewhere and it makes a bubble. So hopefully that explains why you need to have dry filament. All right, getting back to one of the options with this fixed dry here is using this tube to, uh, you would put it in one of these grommets like this, cut it to whatever length you need, and you could run it directly down to your printer. Uh, because of the way my printers are set up and I'm cramped in here, that it's not going to work for me. However, my printers run pretty much most of the time, and all but one of them behind me is printing, and the only one that isn't printing is because it's in front of my air conditioner and it doesn't work too well when the cold air is blowing on it. So I don't use that one while I'm up here with the air on. However, at night I, I do run that. Uh, if I'm not going to be using my printers for a period of time, let's say a day or two when it's real humid like this in the summer, I will take the uh, spools off and put them in my dry box that I have that's loaded up with desiccant. And if I have one that I think is questionable, I had been putting it in this filament dryer here, but this will hold two. That's even better. Now you can see here I'm about 15 minutes in the drying cycle here, and it's already brought the uh, humidity down inside. The ambient temperature inside here right now is 47C, and it's brought the humidity down to, I can't read it in the monitor, 25%. So it's half of what it was. Uh, something else, I think if I was drying a spool that was nearly full, I may run that for six hours instead of four hours. That's what I have always done with the sun loom over here, is uh, I'll run a six hour time if it's a really full spool. These here are just little partials, so four hours will be fine. So as you can see, we're about an hour into this, and it's up to 50C. Humidity is down 21%, so this is operating exactly as it should. So what else can I say about this? Well, I like the construction of it. It's well constructed. Display is very easy to read. It's very, very easy to put your settings in. It's extremely simple. Um, I also like that it holds two spools. Of uh, The features of all these different places you could run your Teflon tube off to to run directly to the printer. I think that'd be great if I was in a place where I could be set up for that. And I do have another room up here in the loft where I have some 3D printers running. And I may be able to use that feature back there. I was kind of have to see. Uh, there's a deflector in the bottom again as you saw at the beginning. If you're just going to dry your filament and you're not letting it run so it's constantly rotating, make sure you put that deflector in there so it doesn't deform the bottom of your spools. Otherwise, uh, I think this thing's great and it'll be getting a lot of use. Uh, again, this was provided to me by Fix Dry to demonstrate. That's what we're doing here. There'll be a link in the description on where you can get one. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Keep your filament dry. Thanks for watching. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. See you in the next one.